Environmental Science Center. My name is Bill McBride. I am an intellectual property and mining attorney here in Bozeman. Before that, I was a geologist for 11 years. My career in STEM began with my initial interest in geology and minerals from high school in Pennsylvania, and then obtaining a geological engineering degree from the Colorado School of Mines. I worked 11 years after that as a geologist in oil and gas in Houston and in Denver, assessing oil and gas reservoirs by using my background in stratigraphic geology. Eventually, I became a mining and patent lawyer after going to law school at the University of Denver. As a geologist, I worked for oil and gas companies studying reservoirs deep under sea in the Gulf of Mexico and in stratigraphic basins in Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana, as well as in the Middle East. Structural and stratigraphic data obtained from wells and from geophysical surveys are invaluable in helping geologists develop oil and gas plays and determining where hydrocarbons may be found underground. Economic geology, however, takes on many facets. And I have here a few examples for you, such as finding sulfur uh, used in fertilizer. This is from a sulfur deposit underground in West Texas. Coal, another hydrocarbon found in Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Wyoming, Montana, and other locations used for not only heating homes, but in uh, production of steel. Building stone, such as this rock found in the Cumberland Plateau area of Eastern Tennessee used for building homes. Semi-precious and precious minerals, such as these garnets found in Northern Mexico. Met metals, here we have a polymetallic ore, ore deposit from Montana, having iron ore, gold, silver, and other metals. And then finally, oil and gas. This is a, an example of a core of the famous Bach and Shale found in the Williston Basin of North Dakota and Montana. I still use my engineering and science background in other fields of economic geology and law, aiding mining companies and inventors with their patenting of inventions. We live in a rapidly changing world now. Oil and gas and other hydrocarbons are giving way to alternative fuels of energy, but this background in STEM is also applicable in such areas as civil engineering in assessing building sites, as well as in assessing earthquake and volcanic occurrences. It is not easy stuff to learn, but it provides great intellectual rewards. And I encourage you to consider pursuing this area of STEM as well as others. Thank you for listening.